Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and let's continue with the Power BI paginated report the series which you started yesterday. The next uh, scenario where client expect from you is that. So we, yesterday we created a very basic report, right? And when you run this report, okay, so there is two pages to, to this report, okay? So we can navigate from here, like page one and page two. Next, we can go ahead and come back, okay? And even we can scroll it out. The problem here, what is happening is the heading, the heading of this, right? Suppose you are moving it. Now, I don't know which is ID, which is name, which is what and all. Not this heading, the not report heading. I'm talking about the table heading, ID, name, department and salary, right? When I'm scrolling it, I don't know which one is ID, which one is name, which one is department, which one is salary. And that's the problem on this one also, on the next page, right? So that I want to repeat across when I'm navigating to the page on even I want to when I'm scrolling it I want my table headers should be intact right so that's the requirement we want to do it let's go to that so here uh, one thing people first of all will done like that let's select this table okay let's select this table right click on this and there is a tablix so in power bi uh, sorry power bi paginated report right the normal table is called the tablix tablix is nothing but it's a combination of table list and matrix okay so this makes a tablix okay so it's a normal but they they treat it as a tablix but here if you click on the tablix properties there is two option right repeat header rows on each page repeat header column on each page right so let's try to do that repeat header rows on each page i want to do like that right my table headers would be repeat so let's select this and okay and run it and just now move to the next page this will not work okay even if you are scrolling down also that repeat header will not work okay so this information which you've done it let's select it again sorry right click on this and your tablets property this is a very misleading information actually this will never work this will work in a different way that we will subsequently you will use that but uh, for this to work or this solution is available on your group and even if you click on the properties okay and if you select this this one then you will get some properties here as well. So here also you can change the repeat headers and all. All right. So so that's repeat with everything. We can do it the same way. You can just do it this way. The tablets properties ways. Okay. But I want to introduce to another one. The I just don't want the properties here. Sorry, I want the properties. Along with that, I want to enable the grouping here. Okay. So grouping here normally it is a normal grouping is available. We'll come to the grouping later, but just understand the grouping for this solution. Now, normally there is a normal value is the details. If you select this, it'll select only this part, the member of this table. Okay. We are not having any heading information on the group. It is just selecting the members which are available on the tablix or the table. This is just a tablix member, if you see. And if you normally select this, this is the property of the text or suppose this is you are selecting then this is the tablix property but when you select this this is the number but we need the header as well <clears throat> so for that what we need to do here in this case is there is a drop down here on the group section click on that and click on the advanced mode okay once you click on the advanced mode some static section will be available on the column groups and if you select it it will select each heading of this one by one so this is id this is name this is department this is salary but this is column but when you select the details it was there previously but when you select the static it is selecting completely the header now and this is your member right and this is your member but this is a header now in this header two properties are there which you need to make it count so that your problem will be solved the first property is called repeat on new page okay i will 
create this repeat on new page that you need to make is as a true okay so if you done that once you that done that let's run it <coughs> repeat on the new page right so now next navigate to the next page so let's the id name department salary let's go to the next page see this header is repeated on the next page as well the id name department and salary it is not going anywhere okay but this is the way but when you scroll again this will not work okay so for the scroll we need to again select your the static property which is the normal header then we need to select one more property that is called the fixed data okay fixed data if you select it then your both the problems will be solved okay now run it now just observe okay so the id name department salary this is a heading of the table if you go to the next page it is there okay come back it is there now if you scroll see my data is scrolling but my things are things are there see id name department salary everything is there wherever you scroll your heading will be always present nothing will be there so which properties the two things first of all we need to click on the advanced mode of the group then select your row group as the header then fixed data is for the scrolling area and repeat on the new page when you move to the new page these two property you need to make it as a true so that your problem will be resolved okay <clears throat> so hope you like this video please do subscribe to the channel for more interesting content like this and have a nice day thank you